Hi guys. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my Savannah monitor that I had. He passed away a few months ago. I had him for about two, two and a half years maybe. And he was my companion lizard. He was a good lizard. I didn't expect to get him. He just kind of came to me. I went to the local reptile shop to pick up feeders for my other reptiles. And I saw a probably about six inch savanna monitor, really stumpy and really fat. And I asked what was wrong with him. Like, what was, why was he there? And it turned out that some family had dropped him off there the day before um, because he had eaten their other savanna monitor, which anything that's living, moving, that's small enough for monitors to eat, they're going to eat it. But apparently they didn't want him after that. So they dropped him off and they hadn't taken very good care of him. So he was stumpy and fat and deformed. I was told that he would not get more than the size of an adult bearded dragon, which was accurate. He never got bigger than that. Um, and he, and I was told the person that gave him to me said they, they had no idea how long he was going to live. They didn't think it was going to be very long. But, I mean, I had him a good two years, so he lived way longer than I expected him to. <laughs> but the thing was that the family that had him before had kids, so he was pretty used to getting handled. So when I would go to pick him up, he'd just be like, okay, I can tolerate this. Just close my eyes. <sighs> Pretend like it's not happening. And he started gradually getting worse. Um, he wasn't eating as well. He's getting really skinny. And he passed away. But this is Ozzy, my bearded dragon. And I got him or her, whatever, a little bit before Tico passed away. And he's filling in pretty well as the new companion lizard. Um, bearded dragons are generally really docile as pets, so shaping up pretty well. So yeah.